Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to the Ionic Pro update. This is the early March 2018 edition. I'm Matt, I'm the product manager on the Ionic Pro team. It's my job to listen to you guys, take all of your feedback into consideration, and help figure out the next ways that we're going to improve Ionic Pro. So I wanted to start these videos to kind of give you guys some insights in what's already changed, why certain changes happen, and what's coming soon, as well as any known issues. So be on the lookout for more of these videos. As time goes on and we release more things, I'll be making more of these to give you guys kind of better insights into the changings in Ionic Pro. For those of you that don't know, Ionic Pro is a suite of tools and services around our always free framework that allows you to build, test, deploy, and monitor your applications faster and easier than before. That includes Creator, Ionic View, Deploy, Package, Monitoring, and later on in spring, we're also going to add progressive web app hosting. Just to give you an overview of what we're going to talk about today, Ionic Deploy has had some updates, both on the bug fixes front, as well as a new pro client API and a new full tutorial video. Also, the Ionic Deploy limits that we've put in place, we're going to start enforcing those in April. I have some more information about that. We've launched some new getting started guides, as well as new billing options, and have given you guys the ability to customize your own invoices. We'll also talk about what's coming next, as well as some known issues. So first, one of the biggest changes we've been working on lately is some improvements to Ionic Deploy. Not only have there been a lot of bug fixes, but there's also a brand new Deploy API. So Ionic Cordova has been updated to 4.0.0 that has a lot of bug fixes. To update that, you'll need to remove and re-add the plugin with your desired settings. The Pro Client, which was normally used to access our monitoring service, has been upgraded to 1.0.20, and that release includes support for the entirety of the Deploy API. This means you'll no longer have to use the Cordova Nova API directly, you can use our new TypeScript wrappers that have, you know, full definitions all enabled straight from the Pro Client. To upgrade your version of the Pro Client, you can just do an NPM install, and you can check out our documentation for more information on this new API. Just to give you a little bit of background, Ionic Deploy allows you to update any non-native changes that you want to make in your app, bypassing the app stores and going directly to your users. So Ionic apps have layers like onions. Uh, we've got Cordova plugins, native dependencies, settings, permissions, all that fun native layer stuff, which has to be updated through the normal app store process. But then you've got 99% of your Ionic app, Angular, Ionic, custom HTML, CSS, JavaScript, images, icons, assets, all sorts of fun stuff can be updated on the fly using our deploy service. To help you set this up, we came out with a new Deploy tutorial video. This is a very in-depth video that goes through how to set up Deploy, how to use our Pro Client API in order to set up a special beta channel that your users can opt into with a toggle and get new features before the rest of your users if they've opted into that channel. So you just push code up to us, choose which channel you want that code to go to, and your users will get that update right on their devices depending on which toggle they've used. So check out that new video in our documentation. One of the other things you may have noticed as well is we added some usage uh, metering kind of in the dashboard that shows you how many deploys you've actually used. So throughout the dashboard in the app settings, in the org settings, your personal settings, as well as on an individual app basis, you'll be able to tell how many deploys you have used. Now, um, you know, deploy limits that are on our pricing page, that's something we haven't been enforcing since we launched Pro. We really wanted to kind of look at the data and figure out how users are using deploy so we could come up with, you know, very nice limits for you guys that um, are kind of more related to how you're using the product, right? We wanted to give you guys more than you need. We wanted to make sure that kind of the, the deploy limits you have in place is something everybody's happy with. So um, we hope these limits and the new enforcement, which is not happening until April, are something that um, you guys like. So by all means, feel free to keep the feedback on this coming. Uh, like I said, enforcement, even though usage is showing in your dashboard right now, we are not going to force you to upgrade your account until April. So you'll have the whole month of March to kind of monitor, gauge where you're at, and make a decision kind of on what plan you'd like to jump to in April if you're even required to upgrade. Next up, you might have already noticed some new getting started guides in the app detail view. So when you open up your app in Ionic Pro's dashboard, you'll be greeted with this new getting started page that has walkthrough guides for every single one of our features. So feel free to go through those and learn how to set up monitoring or deploy or test with Ionic View, build native binaries, and even collaborate. If you want to get uh, the default tab back to the code tab like it used to be, there's a link at the bottom of this page that'll allow you to change that as well. 
Also, we've heard you guys loud and clear. You wanted some annual discounts. Um, so we have released two new annual plans for developer and teams. If you pay up front for a year, you'll save either $49 or $89. Also, we have changed the business tier to allow for monthly subscriptions as well. So monthly, that's $1.99 a month per seat instead of having to fork up the two grand kind of all at once for annual billing. So we wanted to give you that guys that option as well. Invoices are now fully customizable from the dashboard. So either in your org settings or personal settings page, you can customize that invoice. You can add your business name, address, VAT, any information you want on your invoice. You'll be able to customize that right in the Anik Pro dashboard and download your invoice. You don't have to reach out to support anymore. You can set it up and it'll just continue to work right in your dashboard. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about what's coming next, what the team is working on and kind of the future for Anik Pro. So uh, first off, we're working on a GitHub integration. If you guys are using GitHub, that means you would no longer have to push your code up to our remote. You can instead just push it to GitHub. We'll pull changes right from your GitHub and start building them in Ionic Pro. Um, so that's coming soon. Very excited about that. And we're also possibly working on some other integrations as well. We're also working on improvements to monitoring and deploy. We're going to bring those two services closer together, make them easier to set up and provide you guys more insight into the actual errors too. We're also always working on continually updating the Anik Pro dashboard. So if you're having any issues with it or think it's missing something, reach out to us. Also, we're aware of some bugs going on in Ionic View and Ionic Dev App. Hopefully by the time you watch this, we have already solved those and pushed them live. So those are coming as well. That Ionic Dev App on Android has been experiencing some issues. That will be a native release. So be sure to check uh, the App Store to update Ionic Dev App on Android when that happens. Also, we've heard you guys loud and clear. One of the highest requested features is a package API that you guys want to use locally and in your CI solutions to kind of automate the package building process. So that is something definitely at the top of our list that our team is working on. So be on the lookout for that package API. Some quick known issues, uh, Cordova Android released version 7.0.0, and that currently is not supported in Ionic Package. If you follow along with this knowledge base article, we'll show you how to get it set up so you can continue building in Ionic Package. Also, we know some people have ha had some issues setting up PhoneGap plugin push. That specific plugin just requires a little bit of extra setup in order to get that functioning correctly in package. So feel free to follow along with that knowledge base article to show you how to customize your build and get phone gap plug and push building correctly. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed kind of this little update from the Ionic Pro team. Like I said, I'll be doing these more often and keep the feedback coming. Thanks, and I'll catch you guys next time.